Oh, <laughs> that's so much to that question. You know, here's a problem. You really need to find out when it's low because they take it at one time a day and a vitamin can be high at one time a day and low at another time a day. And here's another problem. It's called ratio. They never tell you this. Uh, if Say I want to check uh, potassium in my body. Okay, I get a blood test. What do I mean by a blood test? Did I test it in the serum? Did I test it in the red blood cell? Did I test it in the whole blood? And ideally, to find out what your vitamin D level is, you must find out the following thing. You must measure it in the red blood cell. You must measure it in the serum. And you must subtract one from the other and get the ratio between them to find out what your true vitamin D level is. Otherwise, you're entering a house and not knowing what room it's in. Like, oh, they're not in one bedroom. Well, what about the other bedroom? Well, why should I check that? I check one bedroom. Why would they be in the other bedroom? Mm -hmm. It's that same kind of logic. Because indeed, if you have, uh, if you become too anabolic, you will store like potassium inside the cell. But if you become catabolic, you'll store it outside of the cell. Anabolic diseases are diseases like cancer. Uh, catabolic diseases are the metastasis of cancer or heart disease or pneumonia, those kind of things. So when a person says they have vitamin D and they're low, where are they low? That's the question I would ask. Yeah, and the 